sidewalks all graded. Uh, just working on this upper portion of the uh, turnaround. Uh, this will probably be Monday. So we just like to have it all ready to go. Make Friday go a little bit easier. So we just pull a string from the top of that garage sill right in front of me. Out here to that form. And the guys will check grade. We're shooting for about five inches thick. Towards the end of the day, things are winding down, so if you're noticing a little standing around, that's okay. They earned it. I can't wait till they hear that in the video. Okay, so we're just winding down. A couple more buckets of stone. Steve's making some cuts. I put power inverters on all the trucks to run our power saw, drills, rebar cutters, grinders, lights, whatever we need. That way we always sort of self-sufficient when we need to be. Charge my camera battery. I'm going to get this out about five more feet and that'll be it for today. So after a meeting with the homeowner this isn't enough area <laughs> we're going to go ahead and add three parking spaces out here and they just put this dirt in yesterday so i'm going to go ahead and uh, dig this out push it over and i uh, got a load of uh, number three limestone heading this way so i'm going to get started on that it's kind of nice though everybody left okay that should be good we'll add some uh number threes in there and then I have a couple loads of uh, 2B gravel over there we'll go ahead and top that alright <clears throat> you have time for another load <laughs> tailgate come off Did it? yeah no, the pin's gone. Pin's gone. Pin's gone. Ah. All right, hey, don't move. We're gonna bend that. Hold up, hold up. Let me shut this off. Oh my god. Sun's right in my eyes.
Okay, busy morning. Concrete setting up real nice. The guys are finishing up the sidewalk here. Almost ready to spray our surface retarder on it. Good shape down there, Steve? Yep. Wants to crack off of that corner. So we put a cut there. Wants to crack off of this corner. Same, put a cut right off of that. Tommy's using our Fresno on the main body. That's looking good. It's almost ready for our surface retarder. A couple little ripples out there. He'll go ahead and knock down once it gets tighter. We'll dress up this edge. Number four truck is due any minute. Sure hope he gets here soon. Concrete's pretty soft yet. It's nice and cool out this morning. Even though Matt's in a t-shirt. Sun feels good. I just shut the camera off. Our mixer pulled in. Perfect timing. We'll go ahead and get this one done. And I can relax. So this truck's a little bit tighter than before. We want this concrete to catch the other concrete. So we're just going to keep it a little bit tighter. It's not too bad. It's flowing pretty nice. And we'll do a nice mix there. I'll go ahead and go to time lapse. We'll talk in a little bit. Okay, Jim's finishing up the last little bit of straight edging on that corner. Matt's bull floating it. Now we want to pay close attention to this. Uh, where this last truck met the older concrete, we don't want to get a little dip in there. So Matt goes over it, you know, well over it and back. And then also we'll hit it this way as well. Steve's getting our surface retarder on up here. So this is all coated. He's working up here. Going good. We got a nice break in that, trying to blend it to the driveway heading to the street. So we'll go ahead and put that together and get some footage of that. Okay, like I said earlier, Matt's working that seam. Looks like it's blending real nice good so we'll hit this with the fresno as soon as that mixer gets out of here we'll throw the other side on the driveway i think it's about 9 30 10 o'clock we'll definitely have that driveway poured today so i came up with this contraption last night I don't want it to ever fill. It won't. So that's a 10-foot bolt float handle. So we're getting good coverage out there. That's about 15 feet to the middle. So I cut this, I drilled a hole and I welded an air fitting on the can. Brought in my air compressor, put a regulator on it. What do you think, Dave? Genius idea? Beautiful. Go, baby, go! Boom. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. So we're running our driveway for them right now. Those guys pulled 14 feet over on our radius. We have our start up here, so I'm just out sighting this. I just want a slight curve here.
Okay, so our form was pretty easy to set. We have to dig out a little bit at the street. Nice wide opening down there. A lot of traffic on this road. We want to be able to whip in here pretty fast. Uh, Steve is finalizing our surface retarder over there. I'll jump in the machine and get some stone going. Okay, here we go. Final spraying. Start the covering process. Okay, I hooked up my battery. I always use the pocket juices. That way it charges the phone right while I'm using it. If you're a YouTuber, I think it is a must. They're on our Amazon site if you need to look at them. Okay, a little bit more through here. We'll go ahead and get it covered up. You hit not a little bit more, Matt? Tommy's inside, he can feed you some hose. Okay. This 30 is en route. I need to get all these trucks moved. I gotta go. Okay, I just told the guys, take a break, get something to eat, but eat fast. Here he comes. So we have four rows of rebar coming up here, wire mesh, all ready to go. Tools are out. That white van that just pulled in, that was Mary Ann from SSC Supply. Uh, she just ran us down eight pails of surface retarder. Uh, that was a big help, Mary, and thank you very much. Okay, final truck. Let's get this thing done. A little bit looser, but that's okay. It's not too bad. Not bad at all. There you go. I'll get a little bit of this and we'll go to time lapse. Now we're not pouring that center stretch. That's plain concrete. There's a street walk here going right through the apron. So we wanted exposed, plain, then exposed. Okay, that was 30 yards, the second round here. Looking pretty good. They're just running an edger around it. Trying to walk with this camera. Like that radius right around there. A lot of area. <laughs> A lot of power washing tomorrow. Okay, Steve's hitting this with the Fresno. So this truck is all done, uh, edges are all cleaned up and Fresnoed. Steve's getting the sprayer of retarder ready. Start putting that 
surface retarder on. The different shades of color surface retarder are different depths that it retards. Did you know that? I didn't. I didn't. There's different shades of it? Different shades, yeah. Like there's a blue that goes like three eighths to half inch. This is green. I think it's eighth inch. And then there's a couple different varies of it. I don't know. Variations of it. I don't know all the, what all the different colors mean. Why don't you explain to everybody what the retarder does? We got a question on that on the last video. So the surface retarder retards the surface. It keeps the surface from getting hard while everything underneath it, about an eighth inch under the surface, gets hard like it normally does. And by surface you mean that top layer of cream. The top layer of cream, down to that layer of aggregate. That way tomorrow we just come in with pressure washers and maybe some push brooms and clean that all off. But the, the surface retarder is just exactly what it is. It keeps that, keeps that top nice and soft. I always cover it up. I, I shouldn't say that. I try to always cover it up. There's some times where we don't. And it's just, you have to work harder to get that paste off the next day. It just comes off so much nicer if you're able to cover it with black plastic. And I prefer black over clear. So just a nice even coat. Let it set and we'll dust on a second coat and cover. So they have uh, low riding cars here. They didn't want any type of bump here. So we just took the concrete right to the top of the curb and Tom's edging that. Any debris that's outside, uh, they'll dig away and then re-asphalt out there. So this is all done. Ready for the surface retarder. This will be done shortly. I'm gonna head around back and start on the steps. 